Hey Taurus, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your love reading for October 2021. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. We're going to look at couples first and then we will move into the singles reading, okay? While I'm shuffling this here, Taurus, I want you to think about your person. Take a moment to think about your person and what questions you have here for spirit so that I can tap into your energy and get your message for you, okay? Spirit, please give me the cards here for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus and their lover? Okay, Taurus, you have keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. What's going on with that, okay? All right. So either you have a lot of options here, Taurus, or your person has options here. Okay, you have love call that's come coming in. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Almost feels like some third party interference here, but we're going to clarify all this before I actually get into that. Okay, you also have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person boundaries, still angry here. Okay. All right. What's going on with the Aquarius? You may have had a lot of love for someone here, Aquarius, and someone wants to talk to you. You have talking, okay? Interested, conversing more, awaited message, arrive, text, calls, email, hovering. Someone's waiting, okay, uh, to communicate with you. I feel almost like this person has hurt you in some way that you have cut communication uh, with this person due to some type of um, third party interference. Okay? It doesn't have to be third party interference. It could be just blatant disrespect that is happening as well. But keys on the ring makes me feel like um, there may be, it could be either or, okay? Just disrespect someone stringing you along. Um, not being open with their heart here, not making a decision to make you the one, okay? Your person's message here is, if I knew then what I know now, I would have ha I would have made different choices, definitely, okay? To make you the one and not involve themselves with one night stands. That's what I'm seeing, okay? What other message does Taurus person have for them? They're saying, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. So this person wants to apologize for what they have done. Mm. Are you going to accept it here? I don't feel like you are, okay? You're not wanting to talk to someone uh, because you feel like they they weren't being truthful, weren't being honest with you, okay? You have lying was just easier for me than telling you to, the truth here, okay? So someone was definitely being deceptive um, in this relationship. Well, your person was being deceptive. This is a message from your person here, okay? Um, and you're feeling very betrayed, some of you here, okay? Let's go in and see what other messages they have. So they have something important to say to you. They're saying your words linger in my mind here. So there's a lot of regret. I won't be surprised if we see the five of wands coming in here, okay? We're going to go into the five of wands, five of cups, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot of regret that's happening here um, with your person. Yeah, there was quite a bit of temptation, possibly someone outside of your relationship or your connection uh, was tempting your person here and they fell for the okie doke. Devil card and the queen of wands that is showing up here, okay? What is Taurus's person, uh, lover's uh, feelings for them now, spirit? Here in October. What is their feelings towards Taurus? That they're ready for a new beginning with you. You have the Ace of Swords. They're ready to come towards you with truth, uh, with clarity here with that Ace of Swords. Someone's ready to tell you what you need to know, okay? Um, when they weren't doing that before. I feel like something was previously, like if the cards are saying, 
previously hidden from you, okay? Um, intentionally being hidden because it was easier for them to just lie about it than to come out and tell you. But they're ready to mend the relationship, to work on the relationship here with the temperance card. I feel like they're saying that they're really sorry. They're wanting to make peace with you here, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like someone's definitely going, your person's definitely going to take the blame in this connection. Um well, in this situation, excuse me, in this situation here. So someone's ready for healing and to really tell you how they feel. You have the four of cups coming in in regards to how they feel towards you. They feel like they've missed out on a great opportunity with you uh, by lying. I'm going to show you this, okay? Four of Cups comes into your reading when someone has missed an opportunity, possibly because they had a lot of people at them with the Three Cups sitting in front of this person here, um, that they weren't paying attention to the cup that you were trying to give to them. I feel like that is your cup. You were trying to give to them here, okay? Uh, but they weren't... Uh, they weren't accepting it then. But I feel like they're ready to accept it now here. Let's see what other feelings are coming out here, okay? I feel like your person here is um, trying to work on examining their behavior and what they've done to you and how they've hurt you here. Because your words linger in their mind. That's what they are expressing here, okay? You're the one for them. Woo, goodness, okay? Someone had more than one option. That's why you have the lover's card coming out here. They made a decision here, okay, to move on with someone else or to take a chance on someone else and it didn't pan out the way that they hoped it would here, okay? They're saying if I knew then what I know now I would have made different choices. That person was not the way that I thought they was going to be. Okay, and it was really you that I should not, that I should have been with here. Okay, you may be a missed opportunity for them. And I know this is a couple's read here, but I feel like, um, like your card is saying, you don't want to deal. Possibly you're in the same household here and you're just pulling your feelings, uh, your emotions away and closing yourself off. You're avoiding conversations with this person here. You're avoiding communication. You're not wanting to open up. Um, some of you guys are not with this person. You have recently left them. Um, and they're trying to get back to you to tell you here that you were the one that they should have chosen. Let's see what your outcome is going to be here, Taurus. What is the outcome for Taurus in this connection? Okay. You have distant horizon that's coming in. You have imprisonment that's coming in as well this person can't get you out of their mind okay can't get you out of their mind i feel like they are prepared to do whatever needs to be done um but they feel very shut out from you uh right now at this moment you've shut them out here okay you have wealthy man that is coming in here Don't, I don't feel like you guys can be bought off with presents and things like that, okay? I feel like you're. some of you guys are ready to dissolve a connection or a marriage here, okay? You have judication that's coming in here, uh, Taurus, so you're ready to dissolve something, all right? You're ready to be done with someone because they have lost your trust. Some of them uh, have lost your love here, Taurus, Um that's what's coming in. Let's see what their intentions are as we move forward. What is this person's intention towards Taurus here? True love. They want to express that you are their true love. That this is real love. Like you guys should be together. You are the one for them. You make their heart sing, basically. Okay? So they want to express this to you. Now, there's some apologies coming, some serious ones. Because I feel like with uh, that not today card, they know that you are not playing. 
you may have given this person chance after chance, but I feel like, yeah, there's this energy where you are fed up here. There's this energy that things have died out. There's too many differences between you two. This person knows this too with this differences card that's coming out that the flame has died out here, okay? And um, they're trying to respark this. We all know what matches like that. You can't relight them, all right? But I feel like this person wants to make a chance, make a change. They feel like you guys are true soulmates, you're true lovers. You are meant to be together here, okay? What is this person's intentions here? Taurus, Taurus. They can't help it. They they can't help thinking about you here. Okay. Um, you have effort. Okay, so this person is working on or going to promise that they are going to work on putting forth more effort and uh, making you um, the one, okay? Or putting forth more effort in the relationship and the connection so you feel um, like you are the one, okay? Yeah, and respect is coming in. These cards are, mm, okay. So they, <clears throat> your person wants to work on um, respecting you more, appreciating you more. That's what I feel after being um, disrespectful to you. Okay, that's what it is. So it's infidelity. You got flirting here. So there's going to be quite a bit of flirting from this person, possibly wanting to take you out, wanting to woo you. Okay, spend some coins with this wealthy man. They want to uh, be the person that they promised they will be in the beginning. I feel like whoever they were dealing with um, did not work out. That's what they're saying. If I knew then what I know now, would have made different choices. Here, and we all have op um, free will here. So I feel like your person made a decision here to do this, to have this unconventional string along relationship or one night stand with someone else other than you and it didn't pan out the way that they hoped that it would let's see what the outcome is going to be for you guys will things be able to be mended between you two here okay. i'm gonna cards here for taurus and their lover spirit Ooh. You feel like this person is toxic here. That's what I feel, okay? Um, you're feeling here um, from this devil card. And I feel like it's your energy that I'm feeling at this moment, Taurus, that you are just going to focus on taking care of yourself and getting away from this toxic energy. You know that there is better out there for you. You may not be in the energy of taking a chance on this relationship on this struggle love because it's a difficult connection for you here you maybe focus on work and your finances with the ten of pentacles coming in and bringing in more stability towards yourself with that ten of pentacles here all right coming in it's all about your happiness here not in a selfish way but you're looking for a true love some of you guys this may be coming in towards you here with the knight of pentacles someone else may be showing up your person doesn't have the only option, okay? Just like the card says, many options. They don't have the only op option. I feel like there is someone else that's coming in towards you with this Knight of Pentacles that will move very slow with you, that will be very um, attentive to your needs and your emotions here. This is someone that is a steadfast partner. This is the outcome that someone else is coming here. All right. Um, another Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. It could be anywhere in their chart here. But this earth energy lets me know that they are um, grounded. It's someone that you are going to be um, very in a passionate relationship with here in the near future. Not right away, but I feel like over time this will happen here, okay, as you slowly release someone else uh, from your life here, okay? Yes. Um, let's get your message out here, Taurus. What message do you have for Taurus spirit? All right, loves. 
your message here is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life that's what your spirit team wants you to do here Taurus. they're saying to you if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul here so they want you to manifest this love this new beginning into your life through your heart not your mind okay that's how manifestations work anyway okay you can also do it through visualization as well uh, it's a mental thing but i feel like uh they're also wanting you to manifest through your heart okay and your true desire they want you to focus your energy on that okay create love and stability in your life to begin with so that you don't attract a lover like this i feel again all right because someone i feel like you guys are ready for this change you're ready for a transformation here in your life you have transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things one more card here for taurus honestly i don't feel like it's with your current person i feel like that is actually with someone else that you um that you're meeting here okay Taurus, your card um, is saying here, all right, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed here. Definitely. Beautiful reading. Still beautiful, okay? Because the outcome, <laughs> I feel, is definitely beautiful. And you will be able to uh, bring someone into your life or manifest them into your life. Um, and I feel like it will be a more stable and loving connection here, okay? That is your reading, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves, and I will see you guys in the next reading. We're going to go into our single Taurus reading now. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, Taurus. It's time with 303 High Priestess. This is your love reading for October 2021. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. This is for my single Taurus. We're going to see... Is love coming in towards you in October? Okay. So here, please put a card here for my single Taurus. Is love coming in for Taurus? What message do you have for them? Mm, okay. Yeah. You have big, happy changes coming into your life here. I feel like there's big, happy changes coming into your life regardless if a lover is coming in or not. Okay. I feel like you are... Uh, you're making these big happy changes um, come into your life. You're going to feel very free, very confident in yourself as you move forward. There's a lot of improvements happening in your life, um, which does attract love in towards you, okay? They're saying meditate. Um, meditation brings answers here. So they want you to stay connected to the divine energy, to always take care of yourself internally and externally here keep this in mind here in the month of october and you have peaceful resolution that is coming in as well so let's see what this energy is about let's see what other messages it has for you i'm gonna shuffle that one more time y'all okay some of you guys do have a lover coming in after great sadness, right? You have the five of cups here and the lover's card uh, that is showing up here. So um, some of you guys just had a breakup or you've been single for a while here. And Spirit is saying there is a peaceful resolution uh, coming towards you. And you will have an option of love uh, that will move in towards you as well. But let's... Okay. <laughs> You have the Eight of Wands, but it's coming out in the reverse position here. So it's been a while for some of you guys that you've been waiting for true love to move in. Things have been pretty stalled for you and not moving forward. That's what I feel. Um, or you feel like things have slowed down in the love department a lot here, okay? 
Yeah, some of you guys have left a lot of difficult energy behind you here with the Six of Swords. Spirit definitely wants you to work on your heart chakra um, and your throat chakra as well with the Swords energy <clears throat> that's coming in here. And know that better days are coming ahead of you here. Okay. You have the Page of Wands. So that is a message coming in towards you, possibly from... Um, a fire sign here, Taurus. Okay, what is this message coming in? Or forward movement. Whatever it is, it's new changes in a positive way. This is a fire sign um, or someone that has fire in their chart. Okay, coming towards you or earth <laughs> or fire. They could have both. All right, but... Um, <clears throat> it is, I feel, a very exciting relationship, but it's more stable than the ones that you have experienced here in the past, okay? And your spirit team is wanting you to know with the uh, King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands is coming in that um, all of the waiting is over. The wait is over here because I feel like there is uh, a, a special individual coming in uh, towards you that is going to be more... Uh, kind and generous towards you um, and this person is going to uh, take care of your heart but I, I feel with the fire energy coming in with this earth energy it's not going to be dull and boring here Taurus okay so it's going to be exciting and it may uh, it just when you thought that no one is going to come in that you may just be in this singlehood for a while here okay this person shows up with a lot of life and a lot of energy and the possibility is really real to you suddenly okay um that this relationship is on the table and this person okay um feels very good they feel very good to me here okay that's why your uh, spirit team is saying that it's going to be a a peaceful resolution to the experiences that you have had here in the past. You're going to have big, happy changes um, coming in um, from this person. All right. How will this person view Taurus? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I feel like that you may have an idea of who this is, some of you. They may be part of your circle group or someone in your circle group knows them. Um, or you guys are going to be introduced to each other. You have the influence card that's coming in here, okay? Um, or this person hears about you in some type of way, okay? And you guys are introduced, all right? Um I feel like that's how you're first going to meet this individual here, okay? But they feel like you are very balanced here, uh, Taurus, with the uh, balance card that is coming in. This person sees you as being um, someone that could possibly speak their love language here. They've heard a lot about you here from various people. That's what I'm seeing, okay? And that's what first attracted them to you. That's the energy that's coming in towards you, towards me. You have a uh, security that's coming in here. So this person feels very confident moving towards you because they know something about you already. It feels safe and it feels secure to have this encounter with you, to take a chance to build um, on a connection or a relationship or get to know you here. You're, you're worth investing more time in. That's what I feel like um, the message is coming in here, okay? How does this person view Taurus? Memories here. They're saying you remind them of someone, okay? The memories card coming in. You have friendship here. So this person may want to have a friendship with you before things get very serious. I feel like they will invest time to get to know you um, before they want to move the relationship or the connection um, in a very, uh, in a serious direction here. Okay. Some of you guys, this is your friend. You know this person, some of you, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
That's why you have the confusion card. You're like, huh? <laughs> I didn't know you felt this way about me here, but this person loves you. And they see you possibly, uh, and this won't apply to all of you because you're not going to experience something like this. But I feel like some of you, your friend wants to be more than your friend here. That's why you have the confusion card uh, that's coming in here. I feel like others, this may be someone new, but... Um, other people around since we have the influence card coming in across from the confusion card others may see this person that's going to be interested in you not um i feel like others will think that you may not be their type here or yeah that's exactly what i'm feeling here but I feel like whoever this is, they know exactly what they want with this King of Pentacles energy that's coming in. Okay. Whoever you're going to be dealing with, they're going to be very successful. Um, and they're very confident in themselves. Uh, they're very responsible as well. And others may be confused uh, about them wanting to be with you or get to know you or connect. Not saying there's anything wrong with you loves. Okay. But I feel like there's going to be outside influences or talking that is going on. Possibly their friends or your friends. Okay. There's something um, possibly different about your person as well here. Um, Taurus, that's what I'm seeing. And maybe a different race, a, a different gender. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here. All right. Others may be surprised. But if it feels good to you guys, that's all that matters. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So let's see if this person could be the one. For you okay let's bring up this question could this person be the one here for Taurus you have the moon card that is coming in they're saying nothing is set in stone quite yet or that question is unknown quite yet here I feel like it's going to take time um, to get to know each other here but it's very promising <laughs> with the star card okay it's a wish fulfillment possibly for you both as you move along in this relationship um and keep people out your business okay <laughs> that's what i'm saying you have the queen of pentacles you guys are match made you understand okay queen of pentacles the king of pentacles energy that's coming in here okay it feels very golden to me it feels like you guys are a power couple and you will work very well together regardless of how others may feel about it here okay you guys may keep your relationship or your connection on the hush too that's what that moon card is making me feel like and for some of you you need to do this don't flaunt it don't put it on social media to have everyone talking about your business keep it very quiet okay <laughs> and enjoy this connection enjoy this relationship here okay that's what i'm saying yeah there could be outside influences that really wreck things with the knight of uh swords in reverse and the full card here in reverse um there could be individuals that <clears throat> don't want to see you guys together or they may be jealous that you guys are together that's the energy that is coming in here okay okay let's get your final messages out here taurus what message do you have for taurus spirit what advice do you have for them okay Taurus you have love endures here okay your card is saying love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation keep that in mind as you move forward okay as you move forward your card is saying no matter what is going on you are being reminded that love can endure all things take positive steps to help create 
the change necessary to get through situations that may seem difficult, okay? Release your fear and recognize that this love will last, okay? Take a step back so you are more able to remember this truth. Love lasts here, okay? That is your reading, Taurus. I love you guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves, and I will see you guys at the next reading. Bye.